Hello guys, hope you are having a lovely day. I am the Vyan Chakravarty, and you are watching Tech University. Today, I have brought you another brilliant Masters of Data Science course that is offered by the University of Auckland, situated in New Zealand. Yeah, so we have gone deeper into the Indian Ocean this time, and uh, I'll be telling you about the program overview, program structure, the fees, the scholarship options, time commitments required, how to apply, and everything about this course. So stay tuned to the last of this video. and before going into the video i will first of all try to analyze the university of auckland profile so if you talk about the world rankings they have got a world rank of 85 under 100 any university is i believe a very good university so the student to faculty ratio is okay 12 is to 1 and the scholarship for yes so this is the option that you most of you must be looking at i will be telling about the scholarships in a little bit and if you talk about the international students nearly 10000 students are studying so you don't need to feel an outsider there you will find people from china africa india or other asian countries like pakistan bangladesh sri lanka so that's not a big problem now if you talk about the subject rankings uh, this computer science and information system they are ranked 106 in the world and graduate employability ranking of 59 so it is a highly reputed institute among the employers so you will have a very reputed uh, graduate degree under your hand once you pass out from here now if you talk about the course this is the landing page so you don't need to be afraid about what it is written if it's some kind of virus or something no this is the maori language which is spoken in new zealand and just behind it they have written it in english as well so uh, this masters of data science course uh, is offered in two different flavors by university of auckland one is a 180 point dot masters and another one is 240 point dot masters so this program overview basically tells you about the difference between these two courses 180 point course is for students who have uh background from computer science and statistics both the subject but 240 point dot masters is for the students who have the knowledge on either one of the topics but not both so people who are having just a single domain knowledge either in computer science or statistics are encouraged to apply for 240 point dot masters and this 240 point dot masters is uh taken admission into for the march intake only but for 180 point dot masters there are two terms uh, in march and september now if you talk about the program structure difference between these two courses uh, you have to complete 60 points of these four courses 15 points from these courses you have to follow 15 points from this bucket of courses you have to follow and again there is a large bucket of uh, courses from which you have to complete 45 points and there finally is a 45 point data science dissertation that you have to follow in a 180 point course and for 240 point course you have to complete an extra 60 point courses which are written here so these courses consist of fundamentals of statistics and computer science so these are the primitive very primitive courses to get your base ready for the upcoming courses but the rest of the courses are exact same as were in the 180 point course so 60 points from here 15 points from here 15 from here and 45 from a large bucket of courses and then again a 45 point data science dissertation now if we talk about the time commitments so this is the page uh, where they are talking about the time commitment if we scroll down a little bit we will come to see that tot masters 180 point course is offered in three semesters which corresponds to 1.5 years in full time i haven't generally seen universities offering courses in three semesters but yeah this is what they are offering in 180 points and now if we talk about the 240 points tot masters uh, this is a general regular course of two years full time four semesters so it totally depends upon you if you have the experience on both uh, the topics like computer science and statistics you should go for this 180 point uh, course otherwise you will have to go for 240 point course now going back to the main page now uh, if we talk about the entry requirements for entry requirements let's select another tertiary institution they basically mean the foreign institution and you need to have a gpe grade point equivalent of 4.5 for both the courses and a ielts score of 6.5 and there should be no less than 6 in any of the individual exams of the ielts academic exam and you have to have a degree uh, undergraduate degree and you need to have certain experience in disciplines like data science or a mixture of computer science and statistics 
in order to be successful in this course uh, they have written uh, here in the further program requirements if we talk about the fees and scholarship for this course masters of data science per year fees is new zealand dollars 44310 for international students which roughly corresponds to 23 lakh inr so if we talk about two year course so it will cost you around 46 lakh inr this is this is just uh, the tuition fees and uh, apart from that there is a student service fees of uh, 8.02 dollars per point so for full time study 120 points it will be estimated at 962 dollars so this is an extra cost that you have to bear and uh, we will talk about scholarships in a bit now if you talk about the postgraduate applications this is the how to apply page for postgraduate applications and uh, uh, first step you have to do is to choose your program right now you are thinking of applying to masters of data science so uh, you just go apply for admission and before you apply uh, they will be needing some information on your prior studies like uh, your intended course selection why do you want to uh, pursue a particular course now if we talk about data science this is basically the SOP in your research project uh, they, they want to know about your research project and the supervisor what kind of research project that you um, pursued in your previous degree who was your supervisor that is for basically research programs only but of course uh, if you are able to showcase a good project even in uh, the coursework uh, degrees it would be a great plus for your application now if you are applying for the first time you need to go to the applications page uh, they will land you to a page that where you have to make up an account like for every other uh, website you do generally you need to sign up for a new account setting up a password and a, and a username and uh, then you will have to provide your contact details date of birth citizenship ethnicity and even if you have any disability after this you need to move to the application for admission section and uh, in that they will be asking you about your academic history so you need to tell all about what have you studied uh, so far uh, if you have a bachelor's if you have a master's already tell everything that you have pursued and what which program will you be selecting so this is where you have to select masters of data science and then finally you have to submit your application so seeing this how to apply page i don't see any application fee so i'm 90 percent sure that there will be no application fee for this course or perhaps for any course applying into the university of auckland now uh, what to expect after you apply so within the two working days you will receive an acknowledgement and you will have to provide them with the supporting documents and they will be assigning you a student id number through which you can always check the status of your uh, application and uh, then you can of course track your application progress and admission decision they have written that admission decision will be made within four weeks so once you submit all the documents they will take only four weeks that is approximately a month and within a month you will be getting the result on your application whether you are selected or not and uh, then finally you have to enroll in the courses uh, which i was showing earlier and you have to pay the, the tuition fees well if we talk about uh, scholarships for international students this is the find a scholarship page so you can literally search for any course that you are looking for a scholarship for and here's the search bar i'll go master data science uh, in that and enter so yeah they have given a list of all the scholarship options that are available for this masters of data science course and uh, if we talk about the international tuitions international scholarships i only found a single scholarship option for international students which is offered by the faculty of science known by the faculty of science masters award uh, in the university of auckland and they will be awarding up to three thousand new zealand dollars towards the tuition fee for both domestic and international students apart from that uh, none of the scholarship uh, options that they have provided after this input i have analyzed there are nothing for international students mostly they are for uh, research master scholarship for maori people for pacific people for business courses this is not a business course this is offered by computer science uh, department and uh, this is also an international business master scholarship so there are a lot of scholarship for business courses i will make a video on that one too so if there is a business analysis course that is offered by university of auckland uh, there will be a lot of uh, scholarship options in that one
but for this particular course uh, only a single scholarship option is available that is the faculty of science master's award which offers around three thousand dollars towards the tuition fees so this was a scholarship and this was all about this course from the university of auckland the course goes by the name of masters of data science if you like this video please hit the like button do subscribe the channel to see some more stuff like that i'll continue to post brilliant masters of data science courses around the world on this channel so stay tuned to our channel till then au revoir